God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of Luke chapter 12, and we'll read verse number 32, and it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. I want you to be encouraged today by this. What the Lord has for you, no one but you can prevent you from obtaining it. There's not another person, no demon in hell can keep God's good pleasure from being done in your life. Uh, God wants to give you the kingdom. Amen. He wants you to have the abundant life that Jesus came to give you. And what God has for you uh, is for you and no one else can take it from you. So keep walking in faith with God, in, with God. Keep believing in God. And the promises of God will be made real in your life. And this is good news because it means that we don't have to look at what other people have and get filled with envy. We don't have to desire something that other people have, whether it's a natural gift, a spiritual gift, whether it's a possession, uh, a, a, a job, whatever the case may be. We don't have to look at other people and what they have. Because it's God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And when you focus on that, you really won't have time to be looking around at your neighbor and seeing what they have and what they have going on. And this is so very important. And I want you to recall a story from the Old Testament. And it involved King David. If you recall, when the men were out to battle, David went on the roof and he saw Bathsheba bathing. And we know what happened after that. He brought her into the home, in his castle, had an affair with her. She conceived. Uh, he tried to hide it and ultimately uh, had her husband murdered. And when God came and visited David for his conduct, he said unto David, why did you do this? He says, I've given you all of these things. And then he says something very important to David. He said, and if that wasn't enough, I would have given you even more. That is a revelation of God's heart towards his people. We don't have to desire what other people have or what they have going on in their lives because God is so generous he is so generous that he will say unto us I'll give you this and if that's not enough I'll give you more amen but what he desires is that our focus remains on him and the advancement of the kingdom of God seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you God's desire is to give you the kingdom so let us not get caught up in, in, in looking at what other people have and the things that they have acquired. Just know that God has something special for you. He has something great and tremendous for you. Keep walking with him. Keep believing in him. Keep trusting in him. And God will give you all of his good pleasure because it is his pleasure to give you the kingdom. Let that be something that encourages you and strengthens you, even right now. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged. And remember, Jesus loves you, and his love never fails. If you want to break my head,